Are you looking for an easy way to take notes from your meetings and lectures? Well, I've got just what you want. You can now take notes automatically and have a list of all the important points discussed in a meeting. And you know what? These notes even point out the action items and so much more. So just focus on your meeting and engage actively. Once it's over, you'll have your notes ready and you can follow up with all the important details. Okay, I'm Brand from Website Learners and let's get started. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take notes using AI in just six steps. And the first step is to create an automation. Automation is a system that performs tasks for you without requiring manual effort. Here we are going to convert our audio into detailed organized notes automatically. To do that, we need to create an account on an automation tool. So to create an account, just click the link below this video and it will take you to a tool called Pipedream. So this is the site where we are going to create our automation. Now click here and sign up with your Google account. Alright, so with that, we've created an account on Pipedream. Okay, once you've created your account, next we're going to import the automation workflow. To save time, we have already prepared the automation workflow which you can import to get the automation instantly. So to import the automation, just click the link in the description and you'll get this page. Now click here and click create workflow. And there you go, we have successfully created the automation. Now let's go to the next part, which is to set up the automation. But before we start, let's see how this automation works. Our automation process uses three main tools, Dropbox, ChatGPT, and Notion. And here's a simple breakdown of the steps. First, we upload the audio file to Dropbox. Dropbox sends this file to ChatGPT. ChatGPT transcribes the audio into text. And then ChatGPT creates a summary of the text. Finally, the summary is saved in Notion. That's how simple the whole process works. Now let's get started by setting up the Dropbox part of the automation. So let's go to the second step, which is to set up the Dropbox automation. In this step, we'll set up the automation to detect when an audio file is uploaded to Dropbox. Once that is done, every time you upload an audio file, it'll detect it automatically and send it to ChatGPT for transcription, making the whole process effortless. So to set up the Dropbox automation, we need to do three things. First, we need to log into Dropbox. So to do that, just click the link in the description and you'll get this website. Now click here and log into your Dropbox account. If you don't have an account, you can quickly sign up with your Google account. And once you're logged in, let's go to the next step, which is to create a folder. This allows us to organize our audio files in separate folders and then use this folder to trigger the automation. So to create the folder, just click here and create the folder like this. Alright, with that, we have successfully created the folder for uploading the audio file. Once we upload the audio file here, our automation should now be able to detect it. To do that, we need to connect this Dropbox account to our automation. To connect them, let's go to this tab, click here, then click here, and click Allow. Alright, now we need to specify to our automation where to look for the upload. So to do that, under Path, select the audio folder and click Save and Continue. And with that done, we've connected the Dropbox account to the automation. Alright, now we need to check if the auto detection is working. To test it, let's upload an audio file to Dropbox. So to do that, let's go back to Dropbox and drag and drop the audio file here. So now that we've uploaded the audio file, let's test the automation. Just go back click here and as you can see the automation has successfully detected the new audio file which we have uploaded so select that now to complete setting up the automation click continue and that's it we have successfully set up the dropbox automation once we have done this next we need a place to store the notes so for this we're going to use an app called notion it'll keep everything organized and easy to find in one single place so let's move on to the next step which is to set up the Notion automation. So to set it up, we're gonna do three things. The first step is to log into Notion. So to log in, just click the link in the description and you'll get this website. Now click here and log into your Notion account. Or if you don't have an account, just sign up with your Google account. And we've logged into Notion. So let's go to the next step, which is to import the Notion template. Now let's import a Notion template to create an organized page for storing our notes. 
To save time, we'll use a pre-made template that we've already created for you. And here's we are going to do this. We'll be organizing our notes in a table like this. And instead of creating this table from scratch, we're going to import a ready-made template. So to import the template, just click the link in the description. And you'll get this page. Now click here and click add to private. And now we have imported the notion template. Now this means that we have organized a page for our notes. Okay. Now we need to connect this notion account to our automation so that it can automatically store the audio summaries. So to do that, let's go to this tab and click here. Then click here and click select pages. And here you can see different pages on your Notion account. Now it will ask you to select the page to which you want to give the access to the automation. Just select the page we created, click here and it's done. So now we have connected the Notion account to the automation. And with that, we set up the Notion automation to store the audio summaries. Next, we need to see how to generate these summaries from the audio using ChatGPT. So to do that, let's go to the fourth step, which is to set up ChatGPT in the automation. So to do that, click here. All right. Now to make ChatGPT automatically translate and summarize the audio, we need to enter something called as the API key. So to get it, just click here and log into your ChatGPT API. Okay. Now to get the API key, click API here, then click on API keys and click here. Now to finish getting the API key, let's enter a name here, click here and that's it. Now we've got the API key. Let's enter it into our automation. To do that, just copy it like this, paste it back here, enter a name here and click save. All right. With that, we have set up ChatGPT to generate the summaries. To ensure that the summaries are generated accurately, we need to set up a few additional settings. And to do that, let's go to the fifth step, which is to set up the rest of the automation. Okay, now we are going to select some settings related to the notes. So to start selecting them, by default, these options will be selected like the summary, main points, etc. You can add more details like stories, related topics, and so much more. This ensures that you capture the complete value of the meeting. All right. Now select the details you want in the notes. I'm going to leave it as it is. Once it's done, you need to select the notion page, which you have created to store the notes. So to do that, just click here. And if you don't see it here, you need to connect notion tool to pipe dream. So to connect them, just go to notion, click here, click connect to and select pipe dream. All right. Now with these two connected, let's select the notion page to store the notes. So to do that, just go to this tab, click here and you can see the notes page. Just select it and that's it. We have selected the notion page to store the notes. Next, we need to select the details you want to add to the notes, such as the audio duration, date, audio link and more. So to do that, first click here and select title. In the same way, we can select the remaining details like this. And once they are done, it means that you have successfully set up the automation to generate the notes. Now let's check if the automation is working properly. So let's test if it can generate the notes. To do that, we need to give it an audio file. And if you remember properly, we have already uploaded a test audio file before. So to test it, click here, go to this tab and you can see the note here. And if you see here, there are some important details like the note title, audio duration, date and audio link. Now just click on the note to open it. And there you go. You can see a well-written summary that contains all the key points, action items and insights from the audio. Now this is the power of AI note taking at your fingertips. Now if you go back here, you can also see this check mark. Now this means that the notes were generated as expected and we successfully tested it. All right. Now that the automation is fully set up, let's activate it. And to do that, just click deploy and it is activated. So now whenever an audio file is uploaded to the Dropbox folder, it will automatically generate the notes from the audio and we will get all the important details that we need. Okay. Now let's see a full demo by uploading an audio file 
and generating the nodes from it. So to do that, just go to Dropbox, upload an audio file, and back here, you can see that it has started to generate the notes. And now it's finished. Now this means that the notes have been generated. So let's check it out. Just go to Notion and you can see a new note here. Just click on it and we can see the generated notes here. Pretty cool, right? It has got a text content from the audio along with crisp summary and it has highlighted the main points and it even found out the potential action items and the follow-up questions too. Okay guys, before we move on, let me show you a tool that will be a huge time saver if you're looking to write blogs. It's called Gravity Write. Just enter your title, click Create Outline and you've got an outline. Hit Generate All and in seconds, you've got a complete blog with stunning images. Visit GravityWrite.com and get it for one full year at just $97. Now that automation is working, let's make it even more convenient by setting up automation uploads from your mobile device. Once you do this, you can start recording on your phone and the notes will be generated automatically. So to do that, let's go to the sixth step, which is to set up auto upload to Dropbox from your mobile voice recorder. First, let's install an app called Folder Sync. So to do that, just open your mobile, head to the Play Store or App Store, and download this app called Folder Sync. Once it's done, just open it, tap here, check this, and tap next. All right, now allow the necessary permissions like this and tap finish. And there you go, we have successfully installed Folder Sync. The next step is to set up Folder Sync to upload the audio automatically. To do that, tap on Add Account, then go to Dropbox, select Authenticate Account, and sign up with your Google account, and tap on Allow. Okay, now with that done, tap here to set up the folder sync, enter a name, and tap on next. Alright, now to set up folder sync, select the V1 option, and tap next. Then select right folder, tap on next. Okay, now to set up the app, select the folder where your recordings are stored, go to recordings, and click select. Once that's done, select the Dropbox folder where your audio files are stored, go to Audio Notes, and click Select. Now tap on Next, then click Save. Okay, now to set up the app, we need to set up how often the file should be uploaded. So to do that, tap on Scheduling, enable this, and choose a time interval. Alright, now to set up the app, we need to make the audio upload work on different network types. So to do that, tap on connection and you can see it works only on Wi-Fi. If you want to choose any other connections, just select the ones you prefer. Okay, with that done, we have successfully set up Folder Sync. So let's check it out. To do that, tap on Sync and as you can see here, the green box here means that we have successfully set up the auto upload from mobile to Dropbox. Okay, now if we record an audio, it will be uploaded automatically and we can get the notes even quicker. So let's check it out. Just open the recorder on your phone, record the audio. Hi, this is Brian and this is a sample recording that I'm going to use and let's check how it transcribes the audio and save it. And here you can see that it has started to generate the notes and it's done. Just go here and there you have it. You can see that the notes have been generated and they appear informative and well-written. Now, with our fully automated AI tool, we have the perfect solution for taking flawless notes. No more scribbling down notes or missing important details. I'm pretty sure that this will change the way that people take notes. People can now fully concentrate on the lecture or the meeting while letting AI handle the note taking. Just click the link in the description and get started. And don't forget to let me know in the comments below how it went well for you. If you're looking for a professional website without any hassle, Webspace Kit is the perfect solution for you. With Webspace Kit, you can easily launch and build WordPress websites even if you have no coding experience. You can get a 10% discount by using the link in the description. So if you want to create a stunning website quickly and easily, be sure you check out Webspace Kit. Okay, so that's it guys. This is how you can use AI to take notes without typing. Now if you're looking to write blogs using AI, make sure you check out this video. And if you're looking to create a professional website, 
you can check out this video. If you guys found this video helpful, do click the like button and subscribe to Website Learners for more videos like this one. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.